Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that I was supposed to film yesterday, but you know, life is such and husbands are such and carpooling to work is such that I was basically at work till like 8.30, then we went out to dinner, it was like 10 o'clock when I got home, and I was like, it ain't happening. So here we are, happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve. So excited for the weekend. Thanksgiving's getting closer and closer. There's gonna be a ton of work before Thanksgiving, but I'm still really excited to have an extra day or two off of my full-time job. Really quick, huge shout out to my friend, Miss Angelica Nyquist, OMG, you guys. If you didn't see her video today, she is actually collabing to curate a subscription box. It is called Try Beauty and Angelica, and that should be launching either today if this goes up on Friday or tomorrow if it goes up tonight. So I hope you guys are excited. She did a full reveal video on her channel. Check it out. Support. I'm so excited for her. I also didn't know that Tribe Beauty was a person of color owned Canadian beauty box subscription type deal and they also only send out products from women owned makeup brands which I think is so cool, you guys know I'm all about girl power here on my channel, so very excited. Wanted to give her a huge, huge shout out. So yeah, if you stop watching this video now, just go check out Angelica's channel and that particular video and hopefully some of you will be picking up her box as well. I know a lot of you found my channel through her, so that is awesome, welcome. So I'm so, so excited, you guys. I'm not kidding when I say that when we saw this collection launch, by we, I mean Angelica, me, and Amy, we literally all freaked out. We were all like, why the heck are they sending out PR packages and the collection doesn't launch till November 29th? Like, literally, that's how impatient we are. And Angelica was like, I think they're gonna do a secret sale. And I kind of felt like they were too, but I thought it would be at their Halloween party that they threw in LA where all the fancy influencers went. And I was like, ooh, cause I remember back in the day when brands would do like crazy drops like that, like Becca, I think when Champagne Pop originally launched or when she did like the Champagne Pop palette, I remember they like launched it for a little while during the party, so I was like, Ooh, maybe they'll do something cool like that. I was like watching their socials and then nothing happened and I was like, wow, maybe they really aren't gonna launch it before Black Friday and I was like trying to put it in my back burner and trying not to think about it and then lo and behold, I think it was November 8th, they did a sale, a 24 hour sale. The sale started at 12 p.m. Central Time and I think Amy was staying awake for it. It was daytime for Angelica and I was like, I'm not staying up till 2 a.m my time so I set an alarm on my phone to go off at like 157 and they were basically gonna email you like a secret password so you could get into the site so basically woke up checked my email no password luckily Angelica and Amy were already awake and like talking in our group chat and they gave me the password so I hopped in and picked up my products now I didn't realize that people didn't know that this was happening because Trend Mood posted it Amy posted it on Indie Makeup Spotlight, I shared it on my stories, like so many people were posting it so I thought most people would have seen it so I'm really really shocked that some of you actually missed out on that secret launch so I apologize in advance but the good news is it is gonna come back on Black Friday on Melt's website and I've already seen they have the products up on Sephora, you just can't buy them and it says coming soon 11.29 so if you want to pick them up on Sephora just sign up because Sephora has like in stock emails so you can just put in your email and it will let you know when the products come in stock. I've done that so many times on Sephora so trust me I'm a veteran I know so that's my two cents on that. A little bit about my history with Melt, I own a few Melt products. It definitely started off as a hate relationship and then blossomed into a love relationship because the first thing I picked up from Melt was one of their stacks because back in the day, everyone was raving about the stacks. I picked up, I don't remember which stack, but I did not like the formula, so I was like, damn it, and then I ended up selling it on Poshmark, got rid of it. Then I decided to try my hand at the 27 palette, which was their first palette ever. 
I didn't like the formula. It was very unstable. I had new palettes shipped out to me because every time I tried to open the cover, it would shatter the shadows. Like, I have videos of the shades, like, shattering um, somewhere in my Instagram if you care to look. But, so then I was kind of, like, done with them. And then they launched the Smoke Session palette. And if you guys know me, you know I'm obsessed with green. And even this palette, if you look at it closely, like, the shimmer shades are really messed up. Like... They kind of puff out of the pan, but it's still usable, so I'm okay with it. But yeah, they're kind of known for kind of having unstable-ish formulas. And then I found the Blueprint Stack on sale, and I was kind of curious about this one because I was hoping maybe they would do a new formula since, you know, they've been doing the eyeshadow thing or the eyeshadow palette thing, so I did pick this up. I haven't used this yet, so it's gonna be one of my goals to film a look or two with this, and I wanna do a separate video on that. So I do have that stack. And then I was eyeing this highlighter, which launched with, which collection was it? Was it Radioactive? No, I think these launched on their own. So I hopped on this, because it's like the most beautiful highlighter shade. It's called Genesis, and I wear this as a blush highlight. I have a feeling Melt is going to have a really good Black Friday sale. They usually typically always do have a good sale. So don't buy this full price. Wait for the sale. I also have another blush from them. This is one I also picked up during a sale. And this is such a gorgeous highlighter. This is a blush light. And this is in the shade Sundown. And I love wearing this. It is so stunning. So I have those two products, their face products. I literally someday just want to have enough money um, stashed away where I can just buy all of the blush lights because um, they're so beautiful. But it's so hard for me to decide like what colors to get because I genuinely don't know. So that's all the product I currently own from Melt. And then of course I did pick up the Mort Morte palette and the Vita palette. So these are the box packaging for the two palettes. I didn't buy the PR box, but if you want to see like the whole collection, my friend Amy picked up the PR box because she wanted quite a few different things from them and she had a Melt gift card. So she did pick up the whole PR box so she has a video swatching most of the items and things like that but this is what the packaging looks like I'm just holding up the cardboard boxes on the back here it says 12 month shelf life and basically they are called pressed pigment palettes which you guys probably know by now means that they are not FDA approved to be called eyeshadows because of the pigments they contain but I believe Melt is cruelty free and it says these palettes are made in the US so that's very exciting and yeah this is just such a gorgeous collection so I just wanted to pull out the boxes and show them to you so then there was one other item from Melt that I really really wanted and during the sale this was on sale for $15 so I did pick it up this is Gamma Ray I've been talking to you guys about wanting this forever I was wondering if it would come to Sephora but it never did and like I said I've just had such good luck with melt highlighters and like face products that I really 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 was curious to try this out and then I'm just gonna mix the middle shade so I haven't put this on my eyeballs yet but I definitely plan on doing that this product definitely got mixed reviews so we'll see how that does on my face. Some people are using it as eyeshadow because like it's so hard to separate out the shades, but I'm really, really excited. That hot coral shade on these cheeks, ooh. Ooh, girl, I'm ready. I think it's gonna be fire. Okay, so then you're also probably wondering what I have my, on my eyes, and I actually have the Vita palette on my eyes today. I played with these two shades and this green shade, and then I also reached into the Morte palette, and I used these blue, this blue um, shade, or like this dark green shade. I have really been enjoying using that as a deepening shade. Basically, both of these palettes pushed together look like a giant rainbow palette, and other than like pinks and purples it has pretty much the whole rainbow so I did a blue look yesterday I did a green look today I think I might play with the reds tomorrow like I've just been having so much fun with these palettes and honestly first impression on these two is that they're amazing <laughs> I was so nervous because I get really nervous about pressed pigments they 
sometimes just don't like to blend and so far the few shades I've tried they blend great they are so easy to use you guys know I like to do very basic like makeup so I'm so so happy with these and then I did also pick up the highlighter this is in the shade illumination I think is how you would say it and this has the beautiful like die cut packaging I think is what it's called and then here is the shade and I'm actually wearing it on top of the Kaleidos green highlighter I did use the Kaleidos highlighter as my inner corner as well as on my cheeks just to like bring in this green situation but this shade is so pretty the only thing I did notice about this is it it, it does feel really shimmery don't know I feel like on my face like it's a beautiful shift but on my face I feel like it just leaves like a ton of sparkle on my face so I'm not sure that I love it I'm not sure if it's the same as um, Genesis which I love and that's a highlighter um, it's the same formula I believe and the packaging feels the same the gamma ray is called a radioactive blush light so that would be like this product that I showed you earlier which is sundown so um, it's very interesting, but I know Genesis I love to use as a blush, but I think Illumination is going to be more of a highlighter shade. And you can see it flips pink and gold, which is really beautiful. So I don't mind it. I mean, I'm glad I picked it up. It's a beautiful construction and you're hard pressed to find anything anything that unique in the beauty community these days so it's very very beautiful I would watch it but I, I swear I'm wearing it on my face so I'm not gonna bother doing that um, but I will do looks with this pal these palettes on my channel soon but I wanted to get a swatch party video up and I've like blabbered and blabbered and blabbered so I do apologize let's start off with swatching the Vita palette so I'm gonna go from this end to this end and if I can say the name without butchering it I'll try to but if I can't it is what it is this green shade is the shade I have on my lid today Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with that color. It did feel really dry and I tried to pick it up with my with my fingers and put it on my lid and I was like a little bit nervous because it wasn't going on as smoothly as I wanted it to. But the trick with that one guys is as soon as I wet my brush, oh my god, it just like glided on my lids. I was so excited because I was like really looking forward to that green. It's such a beautiful shade and this palette it looks like only has two shimmer shades so I would have been really sad if the one glitter shade didn't work. Okay so here are the swatches of the next five shades. So I swatched like the more orange and red tone shades and these ones I have not played with yet on my eyes so I have no like knowledge of how they perform on my eyes I've only used them as swatches today and so tomorrow I think my eye look is gonna be um, these reds and orange shades so I definitely had to build up this red it definitely is like a pigment but as you can see it is very bright so I'm interested to see how it shows up on my lids tomorrow or in my crease tomorrow the green and the yellow these two matte shades I am wearing in my crease today, but I don't think you can tell. I wasn't able to build it up to that very bright pigmentation, but I did order, I'm so excited, I was able to order the P. Louise base, the white one called Snow, which I've been waiting for. It was sold out everywhere, and so I'm excited to try these shades with a white base. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, this is the Vita palette and as you can see the colors on the palette correspond with the shades on the inside. And then the Morte palette, this is like by far the more unique palette of the two. 
in my opinion, of course. Uh, but this is beautiful. I think this can look so intimidating to people um, that don't really want to use color or, you know, it just, even for me, like I like color, but I'm scared of like dark shades like this because sometimes it can just look like I have a black eye. But so far, I've really been enjoying pairing the palettes together. I think they really balance each other out. And the first time I wore this palette, I straight away went into this bright tealy blue shade. And I have a look that I created. It's on my Instagram stories. If you guys want to see like more eyeshadow palette looks and you want like more makeup look inspiration, I would recommend following me on there because I just have way more time to play and post pictures on Instagram, especially Instagram stories. Every morning I show you guys the eye look I've created and I think that's just like really fun because I don't think a lot of people do that necessarily. It's usually like stories, you see a lot of product and hauls and stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely do follow me on there. My Instagram is linked in my description box. So now I'm swatching the last five shades oh my god they're so creamy here they are very like america themed almost this is just such a different palette you guys like i really just don't know that there is anything like it on the market and i'm okay with it i'm glad that you know melt did something so unique and they just swatch so beautifully and i have used these two shades, this blue, I haven't used any of these shades or this like grungy gray shade. But yeah, these three and this blue I've used so far. And I've just, oh, I've just been loving this whole situation so, so much. So... If I could give you guys my first impressions, I would say definitely grab the two palettes if that's what you're interested in or if you just want to get the one that speaks to you the most, definitely do so. But oh my gosh, do not sleep on this collection, guys. I think it's going to sell out so, so fast. And I, I don't know if this is permanent or limited edition. That would be a good question for uh, me to find out. And if you guys know if it's gonna be limited edition, let me know down in the comments because I have no idea at the time of me filming this. I'll try and do some research, but I'm just so happy I was able to pick these up because I was really looking forward to this collection. And I don't know, I'm just really, really excited. This is gonna be one of the last things I purchased in 2019. So I'm happy that it was something that I was looking forward to and I really enjoyed and I believe Melt is run by two women as well and it's so nice to see them kind of achieve such great success because they started being sold at Sephora this year and I really feel like they are taking their brand to the next level. So here are some more looks at the swatches again. So I will go ahead and insert some close-ups of the swatches as well just so you guys can get a better look at them. I usually just film this on my iPhone and I just want you guys to be able to see the textures and things like that and maybe like the shimmers and stuff that you don't see from when I swatch it like this. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. Look forward to, like I said, some looks and hopefully a thorough review on these palettes soon-ish. No promises. I have my eye on the Pat McGrath palette. I know that comes out tomorrow, so I'm definitely, you know, trying to make my way through all the palettes that I've picked up recently. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that my initial first-ish impressions and thoughts on this palette were helpful. Um, like I said, I really enjoy it and there's tons of videos out there. So definitely do some research and if you have your eye on this collection, be ready to pick it up because I have a feeling it's going to go real fast, like real fast. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.